In Dundee, 21-year-old Louise McHugh is getting married in just three weeks' time. This your dress, Louise. Still not finished. She's still got bits and pieces to do to it. Today, she's checking on her wedding dress with Mum Jeanette. That's no, looking really good now. Yeah, it's looking it's getting there. Yeah, that's, that's just pinned. That's just pinned. Yeah, no, that's yeah. fine though. Oh no. Yeah. I think I've always kind of wanted to plan my wedding. Oh, like I think every girl's like oh, when I was little, I always wanted to marry a rich man. <laughs> I always had to be a rich man. I used to say that to my mum all the time. It's going to be a rich man so I can get money. That's not the case. <laughs> no. Louise has been planning her dream wedding for the last two years. Her dress was made by her auntie and it has a strong sentimental meaning for her. The netting underneath and some of the lace, isn't it? Yeah. Some of the lace and some of the pearls are actually from my sister-in-law's dress. Your late sister-in-law. Yeah, because she passed away and my brother just had her dress um, and he kind of just said, if I'm wanting anything off it, then just to kind of take what I want. So it's even a bit even more special that I'm having some of her dress into my own dress. The wedding is going to cost £8,000 and Louise has shopped for most of it online. They're quite heavy, aren't they? Yeah. This is Olivia's yeah. one. Yeah. Olivia's dress, so that needs quite a lot of Walter and Dunn's. And then Megan's... Uh, Megan's just needs taken up. Slightly, but she doesn't really need... Much else done to no, it? No, just a little bit taken up. Yeah, no, that's the first time I've ever seen them together. So yeah. yeah. Really nice. Mm -hmm. It's quite an exciting time, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> Louise also found the man she'll be marrying online, 20-year-old Joe Allen. We met online and uh, we ended up going for a drive <laughs> and going hedgehog hunting. <laughs> and we did actually find the hedgehog, but... <laughs> Sorry, two, but Louise was too scared to get the car and pick them up. Took me three attempts to get her to go out with me, that's for sure. I had to ask her three times. <laughs> yes, I did. I've got... I'm going to be wearing a bun and then I'm going to just have... it quite low. Not too low, just so it sits kind of there. Yeah. Yeah. She's always been a wee princess, <laughs> as Louise. I said to my bridesmaids, I'm just going to cry from when I wake up until the night time. <laughs> the bouquets of flowers. The flower which girls. Louise had done all by herself, made them all. Yeah. The flower girls' flowers. Yeah. I had a lot of fun doing this, though. Yeah, yeah. we have. Yeah, it's had been, a lot of fun it's been doing good it all. fun doing all the preparation for it. Louise's dad, I think, will be very emotional on the day. I think so. I'll be very emotional for him, his little girl. <laughs> <laughs> She's a daddy's girl, this one. Well, I actually thought she was not too young, but she hadn't done everything that she wanted to do. So I said, well, to get married, you cannot put it on hold for another year. Yeah. But at 21, 22, she thought she was too old. <laughs> yeah. I think you just kind of know when you're ready to me, marriage means kind of like just what like being with a person that you do love and you want to be with the rest of your life. Why not get married now? That's the way I see it. It's like everyone's different. Everyone's to their own. You can wait 20, 30 years or you can do it now while you're young and still sort of good looking, I guess. <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to want to marry in 40 years' time, which is all right, really. <laughs> In Dundee, Louise and Mum Jeanette are going for a wedding makeup trial. She not only wants to make sure she look her best for the big day, but she also wants to make sure it's money well spent. I've been getting my fake tan done, my nails done, my eyebrows, my leg wax. So yeah, all that kind of is quite expensive when you add it all in together. Hundred pound, including my makeup as well. So wow. for a week <laughs> of works. <laughs> I want to go for, not too over the top, but I want it to make sure that like people know that it's not just a weekend makeup type thing. First up in the makeup chair is Mum Jeanette. Yeah, 
know it looked like a wee bit on, like, just along the edge of the... Right, okay, we'll press it forward. That's fine. Are you happy mm -hmm. with it? Yeah. Next, it's the brighter bee's turn. No, I really do like cat. I'm definitely happy with yeah. my makeup for my photos. Yeah, I'll be, yeah, be happy nice. if it looks like this on the day. So, yeah, yeah. yeah. Nice. Probably the mascara running, my crying, and making big lines so in my face. face. <laughs> so I'll be having a tissue and just be wiping underneath my, yeah. my eyelashes. <laughs> and if it's yeah. good mascara, it shouldn't do that. Yeah. In Scotland, it's three weeks until Louise's wedding and she's getting ready for her hen do. I think it kind of makes it a bit more real, like um, knowing that this time in three weeks I will be a married woman, <laughs> be a wife. So, yeah, it's a, bit, it's a bit scary. It makes it all kind of... When it's the hen party, you know it's coming soon. <laughs> Willy straws, um, balloons, glasses and a Yorkie bar just to... Keep the sugars up. <laughs> <laughs> I won't see it as my last night of freedom. Like it's just kind of it's just my night out with the girls, just to celebrate that I am getting married. Um, uh, here's a toast to Louise, and uh, we're going to have some fun today, aren't we, girls? Yeah. <laughs> Champagne drunk, it's time for Louise and her hen party to head out. <laughs> Starting with a dance lesson. Dance moves mastered, the hen party, including Mum and Gran, hit the town. <laughs> Crying my eyes out. Oh, I jumped. It's up to here, is it? Yeah, I think so. And then that's it. And then I go and... <laughs> you pawn her off. <laughs> I go at the bar. With her wedding just a day away, Louise is at the venue with her dad and bridesmaids going through final preparations. She's overseen every aspect of the wedding plans, including making all the table decorations. Um, the first a candle for the grands and the aunties. Um, it's me and Joe's first ever photo that we took. <laughs> so. Louise has also arranged a surprise for her fiancé, Joe, to celebrate that their wedding day is also his birthday. We were, we we're getting married on his birthday because it's his 21st. And... Um, he says, when everyone goes on about their 21st birthday, they, they say that they go to Magaluf or they go abroad and have a big alcoholic um, holiday, but he wanted to do something different and he says not a lot of people can say that they got married on their 21st, so that's so the reason we picked the date and luckily it was on a Saturday, so it all fitted in really good. In Dundee, it's the morning of Louise's big day and breakfast is on the agenda. Bacon roll or bacon and scrambled egg? And then it's on to the more serious matter of getting ready for the wedding, starting with a drink to calm the nerves. <laughs> Ding! I think I'm just nervous because it's like my childhood friend is away getting married and it's like, oh my God, we have to grow up now. <laughs> yeah, we don't. We're we fine. <laughs> We're okay. <laughs> He is just, like, the male version of Louise. Yeah. Like, they're so similar. Their personalities, the way they act. They're definitely suited. Yeah, like, absolutely. My trial, I got the way I wanted it and I loved it, so I've just, I'm going for the exact same, except for um, pink lipstick instead of, like, a nude colour. Very excited. I'm feeling a bit nervous. Not too Maybe. nervous. Yeah. <laughs> I think you you get past the stage where you're you're getting nervous and worrying. You just start to chill, you just relax now. Oh yeah. 
But once her wedding dress is on, emotions get the better of Louise. That'll be the last time you're in this house, Louise and Mrs. McHugh. The next time you enter, you'll be a Mrs. Stewart. That's scary. Before we go any further, can I get you two to hold hands because you're both shacking? <laughs> <laughs> That's it, that'll stop you. This wedding ceremony is but an outward symbol of the love that these two share. Jo, can I ask you to take the ring, please, and place it on the third finger of Louise's left hand? Okay. I, Jo Allen, accept you, Louise, in marriage. To be my wife. To be my wife. And I give you this ring. And I give you this ring. As a token of my love. As a token of my love. I, Louise, accept you, Joe Allen, in marriage. To be my husband. <laughs> to be my husband. And I give you this ring. <laughs> I give you this ring. As a token of my love. As a token of my love. As it's now my great pleasure and privilege to declare you married, and as such, pronounce you husband and wife. Joe Allen, in time honour tradition, you may kiss your bride. And I think we could have a round of applause, folks. <laughs> Mr and Mrs Stewart. <laughs> I'm fine now. <laughs> I was so nervous after like thinking, oh, it's an hour till we get picked up. I'm freaking out because I hadn't even had my makeup for it. I'm done. I'm fine now. That's it. Perfect. I'm just gonna relax and now food time next. I know. <laughs> get that bill for me. Amazing. It was lovely. Yeah. Such a nice service. Really, really, really nice. I'm trying to hold back the tears watching them say yeah, their vows. It was beautiful. Very good. Went well. Great, yeah. No hiccups, no problems. <laughs> Official part of the day done, and with Louise and Joe now Mr. and Mrs. Stewart, it's time for the reception. The bride and groom, Joe and Louise. Cheers. Uh, I couldn't have asked for a better day. I couldn't have asked for anyone else. Better to spend the rest of my life with. She does drive you up the wall at times, but you know, it's everyone. It was really, really, yeah. really, really nice. I mean, couldn't ask for any better. It just went so, so, so well, well, so yeah. well. Just like it's so, it's so strange thing that she's the same age as us, and we're like nowhere close to being like married or, and she, it's happened. She's married now. I know. Don't, cause I cry. <laughs> it's been the best day of my life, and I have absolutely loved it. And thanks to these two for giving me full permission to marry the love of my life. Not full permission. It has been the best day ever.